Okay, let's see how this one comes up. This is a common one. Let's see if we can make this one look interesting. Come on, Konica. Stupid shit. Okay. Chances are we're gonna be look, we're gonna be shrinking it. Let's see if we can make it look nice, even though it's a piece of shit. Um I think we're gonna keep it looking fairly natural, except we're gonna punch up the, the contrast. I'm gonna make this light, I'm gonna make this into something interesting. Right, we're just gonna bump these up. Okay. Right, what are we gonna do with this? It is a, okay, snooty magazine, North Shore Times. And there's a guy enjoying the finer things in life, a glass of Chardonnay or something similar to Chardonnay. I don't know, my fucking wine's from, from fuck. I don't really care because I'm not a part of this rich, rich set of people, this stupid fucking dumbass society we have here on the North Shore. The lower North Shore is where I live, but I'm not, I don't like the, um, the culture of it. I do enjoy the coffee shops, but I don't feel like this is really, I don't feel like I belong. So basically, yeah, it's, and it's because of the, the temperature issue. Like I can't, I can't live out West because I need to have enough money to, to afford to air condition my unit and air conditioning is way out of my budget range so I can't keep the place properly cooled or heated I have to put up with hot and cold weather this looks interesting how that's reflected I don't know if that's on, that's on the original I can just see it there but it looks more interesting here but basically I just can't afford the expense of heating and cooling so I have to live in a more temperate environment so I have to live out here where the temperatures are a lot more tolerable. I'd probably end up dying of heat exhaustion or, or cold if I lived out west. And also I need a lot of shops nearby. You know, I've got to go shopping and buy food and that. Don't want to have to travel too far for that. So, yeah. So let's see if we can make this look better. So I'm going to darken it a little bit. And I think the contrast, we're going to leave it there. Going to make this, of course, into a mirror image. So I'm wondering where the centre is going to be. I think that's going to be the centre of our job. Here's an interesting take on this stupid snortiness. I mean, I just don't know why they have to talk about, why everything has to be about the good life. I mean, fuck the good life. I mean, rich people you know, shouldn't be dominating everything, you know, they're so fucking, they're like a disease, you know, they just, <sighs> and of course we've got Melbourne Cup Day coming up within a few days, or I think it's not not a few days, in less than a week from now, so I'm not impressed, uh, but yeah, that looks really nice, that's, the contrast has made it look even better, so that's a really interesting take on this so far, we just have to finish off the job. But the contrast looks really good for this. The colours are more vivid. Uh, let's see how we go with this. But yeah, I don't, don't feel like complaining too much about the rich at the moment. I think I've done enough videos today where I've really grilled them. I've really put them on, put their reputation on the grill. So I've basically sizzled away at them. You know, I've criticised Melbourne Cup Day and shit like that. So I've had a bit of a, I had a stick at, um, at Halloween as well. So I'm not, I'm basically really, I've had enough having to talk about these idiots. That, what They just weary me with their bullshit. You know, they want, they expect to sell, sell toys, toys, you know, be, making children who are poor feel less welcome in the school because they can't afford the latest gadget or the latest clothing or or pencil case accessory or something like that. So all this shit, 
rich versus poor is just getting to me. It just wearies me at times, folks. I just get really worn out by all this inequality in the world uh, brought on by corporations and shit like that who just don't give a flying fuck. They just care about a buck that rhymes with flying fuck. Yep, that's a good one. I th well, at least that's what I think. If you're a rich person, you're probably not going to like what I just said, but that's your problem. I don't have a problem. I have a problem with you, so you're probably going to have a fucking problem with me. And I don't care because you fucking assholes don't, don't give a shit about anyone except yourself and your clicky little family groups and your groups. Fuck off, rich people. You weary me. Fuck me.